What's going on, gardeners? It's Sunday, April 3rd, and it is a gorgeous spring day here on the southeastern coast of North Carolina. Today, I'm going to show you all three different ways you can buy fruit trees, and what I think is the best way that will get you the best variety selection that will do well in your unique climate and also save you a ton of money. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated. The most popular option by far is to go to a big box store and pick them up. And that's because this is generally the easiest option and the cheapest option. I mean, look at these prices. For $42.98, you can get a huge tree. And that's because the overwhelming majority of the cost of these trees is in the shipment. If you were to order these online, you'd have to pay individual shipping costs. But all of these trees come in a big tractor trailer, so you get bulk rate shipping, and that passes the savings on to you. The problem with buying a fruit tree from a big box store is that you get incredibly limited varieties. And I'm in Wilmington, North Carolina. I bet you that they have all the same varieties of fruit trees for apples, pears, and peaches up in New York. And what does well down here is totally different than what does well up in the north. So you don't know if these varieties are going to be any good in your location. Also, you may need pollinator types, so if you were to just go and randomly buy two trees, will they be compatible with each other? Will they flower and cross-pollinate at the same time to give you fruit set? You just don't know when you buy from a big box store like this. The other problem is most of these fruit trees are all grafted and you have no idea what rootstock that is grafted on. Is this a dwarf rootstock? Is it a semi-dwarf? Is it a two-third size? Is it a full size? How big is this tree going to get? We have no idea because it doesn't tell you on this tag what the rootstock is. And I only recommend buying grafted fruit trees if you know exactly what the rootstock is going to be. Is that rootstock geared for sandy soil, clay soil? Is it nematode resistant, fire blight resistant? We have no information. You need to know these things before you just go out and randomly buy a fruit tree. Fruit trees at big box stores have their place if you need to get yourself an ungrafted fruit tree like a blueberry or a blackberry or a raspberry or a fig or a rooted cutting of citrus. It's okay to go ahead and buy them because you know exactly what you're getting. Everything should be clearly and plainly labeled. So it's not a big deal to get an ungrafted tree uh, from a big box store. But when it comes to a grafted tree, I strongly recommend you only buy them from reputable nurseries that have all of the root stock information labeled and of varieties that you know are compatible with your climate so while it may seem like a great deal initially you can pay in the long run by having trees that will not perform well for you the second option is that you can go to an online nursery find the exact variety that you want order that tree and they will ship you an actively growing fruit tree and usually they will come in a number three or a number five container and the benefits to buying an actively growing tree online is that when you patronize online nurseries you have the whole internet to search so you can do your exact research and find the exact varieties that are perfect for your unique growing zone climate soil type, rainfall pattern, uh, the mildness of your winters, the solar intensity of your summers, etc. Find those exact varieties that are going to do great and will be excellent pollinator types for each other if cross-pollination is required, and then you can buy them and have them shipped directly to your door. While this will get you the best selection of trees and also deliver the best performance over time because you can get those varieties that the big box stores do not carry, it's usually the most expensive option. That's because it costs a lot of money to ship these trees to you. I have purchased actively growing trees online that come in number three and number five containers, and oftentimes shipping is as much or more as the cost of the tree itself. So that 40 to $45 fruit tree that we just looked at at Lowe's, a lot of times it can cost anywhere from 30 to $50 just to ship that. And that's for a very good reason. This is a large container. This tree, 
I can barely pick up with one arm. It probably weighs something like 30 to 40 pounds. So you need a box that is large enough that will fit this and you have to pay for shipping weight upwards of 50 pounds or so. Those shipping prices are generally astronomical. So a tree that otherwise would have cost you 30 to $50 can often cost you 75 to $100 or more depending on the size if you order it online. So while you are getting a premium product and when you plant it because it's actively growing with a nice soil root ball that'll usually take off right away and grow pretty quickly, you will pay that extra premium. So you need to decide if that extra 30 to $50 per tree is worth it for you to buy an actively growing fruit tree online. The good news is there are usually combined shipping discounts. So if you are going to place an online order, I do recommend you make a list of all the different trees and fruit trees that you want to purchase, and then you buy them all at once because that will save you shipping costs. But this oftentimes does not work out because number one, certain trees are stocked at certain times of the year. So when it's time to buy a citrus tree and they're all in stock, it may not be the time to buy a fig tree or a peach tree and often it's usually hard to find one single online retailer that has every single variety that you want to buy so chances are you may have to spread your business over several retailers thereby paying several shipping fees so while you will get the best selection and often the largest trees doing it this way the downside is the cost now on to my third and favorite way to buy fruit trees and that is buying them bare root from an online nursery. Now, bare root means that all of the soil has been removed from the roots, there's no soil attached, and they usually prune the roots before they ship them. So what they'll do is they'll often uh, plant actual trees in ground, and then they'll dig them up when they're dormant, and then they'll pull up that root ball, wash them off, clip the roots, and then bag them up, and then ship them to you during dormancy. And that is what I have done right here. Right here, I have three trees. I have an apple tree, uh, two apple trees, and a peach tree. And I purchased these all from the same online retailer, Bare Root, and all of the roots are wrapped up in this uh, plastic trash bag. And what's awesome is they all fit in this single box right here. So if I open this box up, they all fit right in there. And because they're able to be squeezed into such a small box because the root, uh, all of the soil has been removed from the roots uh, and they're incredibly lightweight, this weighs nothing compared to the other plant that I was holding up a little while ago, uh, they can be shipped for a very affordable cost. So believe it or not, it only cost me $31 to have all three of these beautiful trees shipped and each tree cost anywhere from 30 to $36. So for three trees, one peach, two apples, and shipping, and sales tax, I got all three of these for $130. Now that is less money than if I were to have just gone to Home Depot and bought three of those trees uh, for $43 each and paid sales tax. So instead of getting the limited selection from a big box store, I was able to select through dozens if not hundreds of varieties, get the exact ones that are going to do great in my climate and actually wind up paying a few dollars less shipped to my door. I've been singing the praises of bare root fruit trees for years and I've been telling you about them because you get such a great competitive cost. And just last year I showed you how I planted all of my blueberry trees, uh, which were bare root, and I'll make sure to link to that video above. And in fact, just last week, I showed you how to plant bare root fruit trees, which I will link to that video above. Right here is my Asian pear tree that I just installed into the ground. Now, while buying bare root fruit trees is by far my favorite way to buy fruit trees because you get that amazing variety and you get the amazing savings reduction when it comes to lower shipping costs, there are two downsides. Uh, the number one downside is because the trees are being shipped when they're fully dormant, you're not going to get an actively growing tree. So it's going to take them a while to wake up. 
if you were to buy an actively growing tree online or uh, from a big box store like Lowe's or Home Depot, they are generally actively growing at this time. So if you plant one of them into the ground, they will take off immediately where you have to wait for these trees to get going. So you will get a little bit of a head start if you buy the actively growing trees. However, in the long run, I don't think it's going to add up to much because these trees generally take two years or so to really get established in ground anyway and really put down that root system. So while in the beginning it looks like you're really getting ahead of the game, in the long run these trees should catch up as long as they're a comparable size. And the second downside is that you can really only do this with deciduous trees that have a defined, distinct dormancy period. And that's because the act of digging them up and removing all the soil and pruning the roots is extremely stressful. If it is an evergreen tree, that means they actively grow all year round. So you can't really do that to a tree that grows nonstop. It generally can't take that stress if it doesn't have a dormancy period and they will die. So generally speaking, things like a tropical tropical trees like your citrus and your avocado trees and the coffee plant that I showed you a little while ago, they are always going to come with that big soil ball attached. So if you're getting yourself an evergreen tropical type tree, you are not going to be able to purchase them bare root. When I bought this avocado tree behind me, I bought it from an online nursery because I needed this exact variety for climate reasons. And as a result, I had to pay a high shipping cost. So this tree cost me about $100 to my door. But just remember, these fruit trees are an investment while there may be an initial high sticker price due to shipping costs. Remember, you're going to be eating off of these, so they're going to pay dividends over time. Avocados in the store right now are selling anywhere from a dollar to a dollar fifty a piece. So this tree could literally pay for itself in one season by setting about a hundred avocados for me. And that's entirely realistic once it gets uh, older and more established. So for all of your fruit trees, those upfront costs are mitigated over time as they produce for you because you're going to get 20, 30, 40, maybe even 50 years or more of production out of those trees. And that right there is why I generally believe that buying bare root fruit trees from reputable online nurseries is generally speaking the best way to go about getting your fruit trees. You usually get the largest, most aggressively priced trees shipped at the best rates when you go this route. Now, as I mentioned, sometimes you can't get trees bare root. And if that is the case, uh, find the exact varieties that do well for you. And you may have to pay additional shipping costs to ship that heavier, larger, uh, soily root ball. And in that case, you will pay more more money but I really do believe in most cases that it will pay for itself over the time that small additional upfront cost will pay dividends as you get fruit off of those trees for many years to come. The only time I generally recommend buying fruit trees from big box stores is when you know exactly what you're going to get. When it's clearly labeled, it's not a grafted tree and the rootstock isn't an issue. You've already researched the variety, you know it will do well in your environment and you know that you have good pollination. And if that is the case, you can go ahead and you can buy them from a big box store. So everybody, I sure hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you're notified when we release more videos like these. If you're curious about any of the products that I use in my garden, they are all linked down below in the video description in my Amazon storefront, so check out all the things I use there. Also, while you're there, check out my Spreadshop link for custom merch if you want to support the channel. Thank you all again so much for watching, and I hope to see all of you again on the next video. All right, Dale. Okay, buddy. I have lots of stuff for you to inspect. You have to inspect this and make sure that there are no bombs in the groceries. Come on, buddy. All right, I need you to inspect that. Is there anything in there? Is that clear? All right, let's see what else is in here. All right, Mr. Handsome. You gotta check this too. Make sure there are no bombs in there. Are we clear? All right, no bombs. It's a safe to eat. All right, good job, Dale. Good job.